Hey there everybody, welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Uh, we're going to try and make this a quick one because it's extremely hot and I turned off my air conditioner just for you guys. So if you, you remember we designed this navigation bar right here. It's a uh, modern style looking navigation bar. Uh, I went ahead and cut up some images from this and you can see which ones here. I just have that phone icon, the pin, and then a uh, a small sliver of the center and then the left side and then the right side and then this spacer which is just this little line right here alright so once you have those images you can go ahead and open this all up and all I did was made a quick background for this a nice little area to uh, put the navigation bar in which is going to go right over here so you don't really even have to pay attention to this uh, this code ahead uh, above all this. So to start off we need to make a div with ID of navigation BG and this is going to be the div that holds our entire navigation bar. So inside of this we, we are going to want a div with ID of nav left and this right here is going to be the navigation bar uh, corner the left side. So we're just going to copy that and paste it and we're going to do the same thing for nav right and then you can come to the center here paste it again and we'll name this nav center alright so once you have that you can come to this uh, nav center and we're just going to get all this HTML code out of the way so we can just focus on the styles so with every uh, navigation bar you're going to pretty much always want a unordered list so you do that by ul and we're going to give it the class name of nav menu. Close that up. And then we are going to clean this up a bit, or else it's going to bother me the whole tutorial. We're going to indent a bit and give it a li. And this is that list which every link is going to have. And a means anchor, href, and this is the location of where it links to and then we can close this off and give it a title and the title is going to be home let's give this a copy a paste a paste and a paste let's just quickly name this like about us portfolio and I don't know give Steven a present no we'll go with uh, forum that's nice alright so that's uh, we're going to need, well let's just start with the styles so you don't get too bored with this and too confused. Let's uh, come over to the styles and ignore the styles above here once again. That's just to create, I'm just going to enter down so you don't see too much of that. Alright, it that was just to create that uh, the page. So we're going, going to want to start off with that navigation BG and that is the complete uh, holder for a navigation bar. And then we are also going to want nav left and then nav right and then nav center. There's going to be more, but let's just start with that. So with navigation BG, we want to give it a width, and we'll give it a width of starting off with like 940 pixels. And then a height of 75 pixels. And we're getting this from the measurements of the original design. So you want to also do margin zero auto and that's going to center the entire thing. And we don't have to give it a background image or, or anything because that's what these nav left, right, and center are going to do. So with nav left we're going to go with I think it's 10 pixels, height of 75 pixels, float left, that's so it doesn't get all weird and then we're going to give it a background URL and this is just the location of it so it's images slash nav left dot PNG close that up and go no repeat zero zero so because that's a lot of code we're going to copy this paste it to the nav right but change this name to nav right and float it on the right man you guys are getting smart all right, so for nav center, we kind of want to do pretty much the exact same thing. So let's just paste this in here, 
and change the width. The width of nav center is going to be 920 pixels. The height stays the same. We can keep it floated to the left, but we want to change the image to nav center and repeat is going to be repeat X because if you remember we only have a little sliver of image. So let's save this and do a quick refresh and you can see what we're working with. Looking very good, very good. Alright, so now that we have the main background, let's start stylizing our our uh, our anchor points, the actual links. And we're going to do this by going to UL, which is that unordered list, and specify the name, which is nav menu. And we're going to give it a width of 630 pixels, a padding of 12 pixels, or actually padding is going to be 12 pixels, 0, 0, 20 pixels and that should be it. Alright, so you can't really see too much from that. It just gives it a nice width, but we're going to specify even more with nav menu li, which is the actual anchors. And with this we're going to display inline and if you remember that lays the links horizontally instead of uh, vertically, just like that. So display inline, and you want to give it um, text decoration. Wait, no. I'm trying to read what I wrote on my other monitor. So we also want to have this it's going to have some padding. It's going to be 0, 25 pixels, 0, 0. And you want to have it float left. All right, so we're getting a little more detailed. We're going to get even more detailed with uh, LIA and this is going to target the actual wool anchors. And this padding right here, this just gave us some distance between the links. As you can see, it's, it's spaced it out. So now the links are still blue, and a way to change this, we're going to go to this LIA, and the color is going to be white. And then we want the text decoration, which is going to remove the underline to none. And font weight is going to be bold. And that's it for this. Now we always want to give a nice little hover effect to links. So we're going to copy and paste that and go hover. And all we're going to do is change the color to a darker gray, which is AB, AB, AB. Easy enough to remember. You can save that, refresh it here, and there you go. Looks spiffy. So now on the image, we have a smaller navigation navigation bar to the right of this. So we're pretty much just going to copy this entire thing, paste it here, but we're going to change this name to menu small. And we also want to just have two of those. This one's going to be contact us. And this one will be maps. All right, something different that we want to do is give it a class name. This is so we can have that image for this specific class. So this first class is going to be contact, and then the second one is going to be maps. Easy enough to remember. Save it, and then switch back over to our styles. Now we're running out of time, so I might have to slap this into a two-parter. But um, we want to target this small menu by going to ul dot Men menu small and we want to have a width a width sorry for the voice crack there 225 pixels a height of 35 pixels um, float right and uh, we're gonna change the font size to something a little bit smaller so it doesn't stand out so much to 13 pixels Let's do text align and it's going to be to the right so it hugs the right side of the navigation bar. And then margin, we got to give it some margin of negative 30 so it uh, is centered in the navigation bar. 20 pixels and this is so it's not hugging the right side. 0, 0. And then what else do we want? We are going to have to give it a background image. So background, oh wait, yeah, we're going to give it a background image, which is going to be that spacer. 
So um, I'm just going to stop it right here because we're at 10 minutes. It's getting a little bit confusing. In the next lesson, it's going to be kind of quick. We're going to finish this up. So I will see you then.